OK, in a second, we're going to go over a kerb. Still quite uneven field terrain here. OK, oh, yeah, I know fields. Mm. So we're going to take a step up. Arrange the lollies. Oh, Christ. In rainbow order on the board in front of you. Are you we... may only take off your goggles if you find the dodo. You may only accuse one thing of being a dodo. Most accurate rainbow order wins. You have seven minutes. Your time starts now. Right. When I was young, my mother used to call my penis a dodo. Because <laughs> it's extinct. <laughs> Isn't this a dodo? Are you accusing it of being a dodo? All of this. Possibly. Hang on a sec. Let me just make absolutely certain that there's nothing else that could possibly be a dodo. This feels like it might be shaped like a bird. Is that a dodo? No. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> this is green. Why is it green? Keep them in. That. That's lavender. That's violet. Yellow. Why? It's a banana. <laughs> it's a blackcurrant flavoured lolly, so it is purple. <laughs> oh, God! That tastes hot! Can I ask you why you're sniffing the ice lollies? To get the flavour and therefore the colour. Oh. Is that how you get the flavour of oh, ice? I can taste them. <laughs> 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 I just taste them. What the f is that? This is a hot one. So, Roy G. Biv. Pardon? Roy G. Biv. Red. Red hot. Uh, so, red on the right, if you think that's red. Oh. I don't know what colour a chilli ice lolly is. I'm assuming red. So, that goes here. <laughs> Lavender. Roy G. Biv. Violet. Smells a bit like it might be blue. Oh, but they all taste the <laughs> And this is the closest you've come so far to a kind of KGB torture thing. <laughs> Alex? Yes? <laughs> oh. <coughs> Bubble gum. What's the taste of indigo? I'm just going to guess, yeah. That's your time up, David. That's your time up. That's your time up. Thank you. Enjoy that. <laughs> no! Taskmaster often confuses people a little, but it doesn't normally make them forget how to use basic sense. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it took me a while to realise I could lick them. But, you know, I didn't know what I was licking. I thought I might be licking a dodo. And for me, that's a complicated thing to do. <laughs> Uh, David Baddiel's going to read this one. Throw your things far, but not too far. <laughs> Taking it in turns, you must select a thing and throw it beyond the line, but not off the runway. If your thing does not end up in the safe zone, you are disqualified. If all objects end up in the safe zone, the person who has thrown their thing the shortest distance is disqualified. You may not manipulate your things in any way before throwing them, last player standing wins. Got it. Have you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> have I you? have. I you, pick a, you pick a thing, I you've got to get it over that line, but not off the, off the thing. If you get it off the thing, you're disqualified. If everyone gets their things within the safe zone, then the person who's thrown the shortest distance over that line is eliminated, and we keep going and picking a new thing until everyone's out, apart from one person who's the winner of the task. Correct. <laughs> They applauded, but I still didn't understand. Well, it's like an educational video showing the collapse of the human mind. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a swimming noodle, an egg, a birthday card and a grain of rice. Remember, the shortest distance, if they all make it into the safe zone, is disqualified. Thank you. <laughs> it's a crazy choice. Oh, what? But you didn't. <laughs> David, look at what you're holding! No, I've worked it out from your mistake. Mate, that is bouncing wherever you throw it. The old rubber egg, eh?
sinister. Hello. I've got a helmet on. It looks really scary. Lasso Alex. Lasso Alex. Lasso, Lasso, Lasso. That's a Lasso. Lasso. Lasso Alex. You must stand behind this line at all times. Fastest wins. Your time starts a... now. Fastest what? Is there a top line? <laughs> oh, let's do Alex. Do you just chuck it? Or do you like to do this? <laughs> okay, that was a sh laugh. Uh, I think there's another way around this. <laughs> Bit better with the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Have to do the spoons idea. Ready? I'm ready. I'll be honest, the spoons haven't helped. <laughs> okay, can you put your head through here when it comes? It's definitely coming now. Ah! 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 <laughs> I think to... Can you crouch? Do you mean like kneel? No, well, kneel if you like. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to pray. Okay, now just no, 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 stay down. Right, go down a bit more. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Okay, now just sort of jiggle a bit. That's it, keep jiggling. That's it. Good. Okay, stay there. A bit like a pig. Stay there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel really bad about what I said about Katie now. <laughs> David, I would argue that there is not <laughs> one other person on the planet who would think that the way to improve your chances of lassoing something <laughs> is to tie wooden spoons to the lasso. I, I mean, I honestly thought that was the way forward, right? <laughs> but the clues were there, Dave. Why don't you stop at two spoons? <laughs> Break something into the most parts and completely fix it. You have five minutes to select your item, three minutes to break it... ..and seven minutes to fix it. Well, anything. Uh-huh. Time, time starts now. Thank you. Oh, the thing is, I'm very good at breaking, but awful at fixing. <laughs> what can I break? What are you going to allow me to break? I feel pretty broken, but I don't think I could fix myself, like, <laughs> in seven minutes. Has anyone got a car here? Hmm. Uh, yes, I've got a car here. Shall I have a go at your engine? <laughs> I'm committed to this show, but if I was to say my leg, that would be stupid, wouldn't it? <laughs> we haven't seen Rose yet or David, so here's Rose and David. Hello, David. I've brought my broadcast award for you. I've been nominated for numerous awards, but I've never actually won one. As a result, I felt I would have a particular energy in destroying your broadcast award. Your three minutes starts now. Please be careful. <laughs> You've got earplugs. You want some earplugs? I might deafen myself doing this. <laughs> Oh. It's one knot, two knots. I could do a knot in about ten seconds, so... Well, that's sick. <laughs> that's just a math. That's six, six, nine, seven, forty-two, so I could do forty-two knots. Could I? Have you got any lighter fuel? Lighter fuel? Yeah. You got a match? I'll put it out. <laughs> if the 
job's worth doing. It's worth doing well. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Rose. Once you'd established that the award was just one solid bit of metal, yeah. what did you think it would add, setting fire, <laughs> <laughs> setting fire to it? Well, I thought it might melt and then be easier to oh, smash you, into you pieces. You thought the lighter fluid would get it to such a heat? Yes. <laughs> I thought it would melt and become, like, molten award, and then I could smash it more easily, because I don't know if you noticed it wasn't smashing. Yeah.